Charlie'sLawsVegas.com. We're here on Wednesday night, underwear night at Charlie's Las Vegas. Every Wednesday, I'll buy you a shot if you answer a few questions. Let's bring the boys into my office and ask them. Hi, and welcome back to Kimberly's Confessionals, week number three. I'm here in my office with one of our regulars, Mikey. How are you, Mikey? I'm fabulous. How are you, Don? I'm great. Thanks for coming back. No problem. Are you ready for your question? I am ready. We're going to do this week a little different, so I'm just going to kind of ask you a few little questions. and Just you go on and answer them and be honest, though, okay? Always honest. So when you're shopping and you go home and you just need to relieve some stress from that, you know, shopping environment, do you use your left or your right hand? Normally right hand. So normally. Normally right hand. Sometimes I'll switch off. See, I'm not like that. I can't do anything with my right hand. Always my album of writing. It's like a girl touching myself. Well, not a man. Fair enough. So you're, so you're ambidextrous. Pretty much. Ambidextrous. If you will. If you will. If you will. <laughs> well, thank you for coming back, Mikey. Of course. It's time, darling. We'll be back. Hi, and welcome back to Kimberly's Confessionals on VegasDrag.com. We're here at week number three at Charlie's Las Vegas on a Wednesday night, underwear night. Guess who's here? It's Aiden, one of our regulars. Hi, Aiden. Hi, Kimberly. How are you? I'm fabulous. Thanks for coming back. I'm always here every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. You drink free, gentlemen, if you get in your underwear. Ladies, you, you can come in here and look at them. I do. I got a lot. So, Aiden, are you ready for your question? No, oh, hit me with your best shot. No, I'm not Pat Benatar, but I'll do my best. Well, you know, with that said, Aiden, what age did you lose your virginity? Oh, God. You want the truth? Yeah. Okay. Um, 12. Thanksgiving Day with my cousin. Really? You stuffed that turkey, huh? No, he stuffed this turkey. Oh, my God! I bet that stove top was hot. I'm always hot, but then our parents knocked on the door and like, come on, it's Thanksgiving dinner time. Did they know what's going on? No. no. And now he's married with three children. Does he, like, at all, like, acknowledge? We don't talk anymore. <laughs> well, I'd like to stuff your turkey. Thanksgiving's coming, so be careful. Well, gobble, gobble, gobble. Thanks, Aiden, for coming back. You're welcome, Kimberly. I love you. I love you, too. We'll be back. Welcome back to Kimberly's Confessionals. Welcome to my office, ladies and gentlemen. I have a brand new person, a brand new guest to our set here. Hi, Z. How are you? I'm fantastic, everybody. Thank you. Are you ready and looking forward to your questions? Hopefully. <laughs> All I ask is open, ask them, or answer them open and honestly, okay? All right, I'll do my best. So see, inquiring minds want to know, when you're at home and alone and that feeling comes about, do you use your left or your right hand? Always my right, man. I mean, they always talk about the stranger, but it's always been more like the mentally handicapped sister. Well, see, I use my left, but I know what you're talking about because my right is like a female touching me. <laughs> I understand that, too. <laughs> yeah, but there, there are better stories, so once I've done on purpose, you know, we've ended well, up... Well, tell me the most outrageous thing you've done on purpose. Five-car pileup. Okay. I've been around a long time, and I've never heard that term. Well, you know, it's, it's a little bit more subtle, I guess you could say. What is a five-car pileup? I mean, I've had bumper cars, but... Well, bumper cars is a little bit more shallow, and it doesn't last quite so long. And of course, you know, a five-car pileup involves five different parties. I only have two holes that I can count on. Where do you put the other three? Well, it's just kind of more like bumping and grinding on odd body parts for the most part. You know, everybody kind of finds their way, so to speak. You know, you are a party in your <laughs> pants, I bet, aren't you? Sometimes, sometimes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can see Z down here most Monday nights for something different with Vivian Dumont, but I think he's going to come back on Wednesdays for underwear night. Don't you? Are you going to be back? Always. Well, Z, we appreciate you for coming in. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Thank you. And we'll talk afterwards. Definitely. We'll be back. Hi, and welcome back to Kimberly's Confessionals on VegasDrag.com. We have the jeweler to the stars, Daylin in again. 
Ladies and gentlemen, say hi to Dalen. Hi, Dalen. Hello, Kimberly. Hi, Are you, you know, welcome back to my office. Are you excited? I am thrilled. We have a fan now. It's fantastic. I know. Upgrading. I know. It's Charlie's is before long we're gonna have two ply toilet paper. Oh, I love it. Okay, you know, that's fantastic. Well, Dalen, what's your most guilty pleasure? My most guilty pleasure? I don't know. So we have uh, alcohol. That's probably everybody's guilty pleasure. We have cigarettes. That's probably a normal guilty pleasure. But then we have porn. Ooh, what kind of porn do you like? There's this website called Damn It's Big. Are we allowed to see that? Okay. What, what, call, called what? Damn It's Big. Damnitsbig.com? Fabulous. It's just all these people that are getting out. I'm just saying it's just... Daylon, are you telling me that you're a top? I have been a top. You have been a top. I have been a top, allegedly. Which means you have been a bottom. Uh, yes, I have been a bottom. So do you I'm consider allegedly. yourself versatile? Not really, no. I'm kind of a little bottom mixture. So you consider yourself... I'm totally... Yeah, no, when I was younger, I was a bottom. I was a two when I was younger, not so much now. Speaking of being younger, everybody say happy birthday to Daylon. Thank you. So you're a top. Yes, I'm a top. I'm a top. Holly, you owe me five dollars. Damn it! Aha! No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, well, with that said, what's the most outrageous thing you've done sexually? The most outrageous sexual thing? There was one guy when I was about 17 that tried to do the whole um, S&M. You can remember that? You're kind of old. What? Well, I, <laughs> I know, I'm older than you. Oh, um, so many alcohol drinks. Um, Get used to it. When I was about 17, there was a guy that uh, in a coffee shop that wanted to try to do the whole s like dominatrix thing. Wait, it's a guy, so it's not dominatrix. Well, dumb. Yeah, well. He was trying to be dominant. Yeah, exactly, with the whole other shit. And the whole paddle. I wanted to do that. It's okay. Oh, no, I thought that was a joke. It was just my time. Alcohol abuse, but no, it's a fan. No, it was, um, it was, yeah, no, it was pretty. I mean, I was just not into it at all. I was a little freaked out. He's trying to do the whole, there's a mask that you have, um... The zipper. I don't know what it's called, but that thing. Where you have the zipper thing on? No, it's not hot. It's not hot. I'd like one of those for <laughs> Holly Holiday sometimes. So, well, with that said, um... If you could go to anyone in the bar tonight, without fear of rejection, and take them home... Are we naming names? Who would it be? <laughs> just First names. Justin. Justin. There's so many Justins, I love that. It's it could be anybody. It's it not. could be anyone. Wait, can you give me a description? Oh, I know which Justin it is. I pulled him off of him when I came in here, though. Did you know? Holly, just film and shut up. You're pretty that way. So, Justin, I might have to go on a treasure hunt. He's the cute one. And if Justin did go home with you, would you be using your left or your right hand? Always the right. I'm right-handed. You have to deal with it, you know. Well, I'm left-handed, and I understand. Yeah, no, you're absolutely. Dominant hand. Dominant. Dominant. We know. Your dominant it. hand is bigger than your left hand. It's a jewelry fact. So which nut is bigger? Two. I never really looked at it. I think I'm fighting pin. Symmetrical. We'll Jeez. check that next week, ladies and gentlemen. Say thank you to Dalen. Thanks, Dalen. Thank you, Kimberly. We'll be back. Hi, and welcome back to Kimberly's Confessionals on VegasDrag.com. We're here with one of our regulars, one of my children, James. How are you doing, James? Fantastic, how are you? I'm fabulous. Thanks for coming back to my office. Obviously, I love it here with the fan. We have a fan. Time. Hopefully, Charlie's will get us two-ply toilet paper next. I doubt it. <laughs> James, so if you had to choose a man, which would be more important? A huge heart, a huge brain, or a huge cock? Be honest, your mom is listening. I do have to say a huge heart, but a huge brain? The cock doesn't really bother me, whatever. I'm a top. Um, but you can use something to hold on to. That's what a hair is for. But a huge brain is also important, because I don't want some like, little slum dog sitting on my couch. That's kind of nice. James is being politically correct, ladies and gentlemen. We'll ask Alex later. So, um, what's your most guilty pleasure? Be honest. 
listening. Your mom is listening. I do have a thing for biting. Sexually, yes. Biting would probably be biting, scratching, those things. Um, I can see that. Outside of that, probably tattoos and piercings. Wow. You're kind of hot. Go on. Left or right hand? I like to switch it up. Really? So it's like a new date every night? Pretty much. That's kind of hot. I can only use my left hand. When it doesn't have a microphone in it. Oh, I believe it. But even then, wouldn't you use the microphone? <laughs> you know what? Well, James, I want to say thank you for coming back to my office. It's, it's been lovely having you. Thank you. Well, I've not had you yet, but we'll find out. Yes, we will. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back. Hi, and welcome back to Megastrag.com, Kimberly's Confessionals, week number three. Colin wasn't done with his interview. He asked for a couple of other raunchy questions, so guess what? Kimberly knows how to satisfy. <laughs> what age did you lose your virginity, and how? Oh, that's a bad one, and that's a good question. When I was uh, 16, I was in the Boy Scouts. 16? Yeah. Maybe, That's kind of old. Maybe like 15, maybe 16, right around there, on a camp out, and it was, you know, in the forest, in a tent, and, um, yeah, everyone went to bed, and besides me and my tent partner, and it got a little, I won't tell if you won't tell, I'm not gay if you're not gay, a little touchy-touchy, sucky-sucky. You both kind of pitched a tent. Yeah. And were, you, saw, were you top or were you bottom? I was the top. I believe that. It was, it was my first time. Did you? How long did it take? Oh, the first time, I was four minutes, maybe. <laughs> four minutes? My God, you're four like minutes. an Olympian athlete. Four minutes is, you know, you always wanted, but like hand comes over, you're like, oh my God, am I really doing this? That'll cost you five dollars. Oh. <laughs> So, um, with that said, what's the most outrageous sexual thing you've ever done? One of the best sex and the most outrageous sex that I've ever had, and it was so daring and so amazing. Um, I drove up to this public park with my boyfriend. How long ago? Uh, three years. Okay. And um, it overlooked Lake Michigan. And it was a really pretty spot, but it was a very, very frequented drive through so we parked up there and we decided to... So you're telling me it was a cruise park? No, no, yeah, well, yeah. But, most of, it was always straight people out there doing it with the fogged up windows. But, we walked up and we decided to get in the back of my truck in the tailgate. And every little while he'd be... I was the bottom that time. But every little while he'd be doing it and the car would go by and we'd sit there and go... Just talk, okay, go on. Going crazy and it was so daring because you had to stop and pretend we're just kind of not doing anything and then and go at it again and then here comes another car. Hey, how are you doing? Okay. So, it was it was really fun. It was just one of the most daring places I've ever because it was so public and cars driving by and here goes an old lady with her dog and I'm don't mind me. It, it was fun. It was very very good time. Well, I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen at home, but I have jack off material for months. Thanks, Colin. <laughs> Thank you. And we'll be back. Well, welcome back to VegasDrag.com, Kimberly's Confessionals. Holly, did you learn a lot tonight? Yes, I did. I learned a hell of a lot about people I'm not, not sure I really wanted to know that about. I'm so speechless from a couple of their answers tonight. Well, speechless is one thing, mouthful's another. I have a big mouthful and I'm about to go out in the bar and find, my, find me a mouthful. Well, you know what? We're here every Wednesday night at Charlie's Las Vegas on Underwear Night filling Kimberly's Confessionals for VegasDrag.com. Thanks, Holly, for being here. Anytime, Kimberly. You know I love you. Everybody does, or they will. We'll be back.